Hi everybody, it's me Vicky. So today I'm here to talk to you guys about my flat iron, natural hair flat iron fell. It didn't work out for me. Uh, I don't know, yesterday was just a disaster. Uh, it's, uh, first of all, my camera kept shutting off. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. That's one issue. And second, the flat iron that I'm using does not work good at all. And it was not getting my hair bone straight. And let me show you this what I'm talking about. Supposedly a chi flat iron, but for some reason, this does not work good. Uh, the original chi, which is the black one that I had, that one broke and burnt out because I've had it for a while, so it no longer works. So I had to throw that away. So I started using this one and <sighs> sucks. So now I have to go buy a new flat iron and invest in it. I do have footage from uh, from yesterday. And I'm going to share that with you guys and then unfortunately in that video you will see that it cuts off and that's when my camera started acting up so I couldn't finish my hair on camera so right there it was a big problem so I should have just I was like totally frustrated from that and uh, before I keep talking I'll be right back just check out the check out that body so I am back today to flatten my hair like I said I would so I already blew my hair out okay my hair is blown out <laughs> okay, so I am going to put my hair into four sections. Okay, it will work. I already, um, I already put heat protectant, so my hair is good. All right, always use heat protectant to protect the hair. So now I'm going to use my little clips right here, so I can. Section. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start with the back. Okay, let's start tangle it again. Let's get started. Okay. Let's see what my true length is. Okay, let's start from the Z back. Maybe I should turn around. Okay, I should turn around to show you guys. Mm, I don't know. Let me see. Okay. So, I'm going to do the chase method using this. This is a good little uh, item that you should have. This is really good to have to do the chase method. So I'm going to hold it. Let me see if I could like make sure you guys could see. Okay. No, I can't see. Okay. Let's do that. I don't want to burn myself. Okay, let's do this. Hang time. Oh, okay, okay. I have a little hang time. Okay, let's do it one more time. I'll go over it twice. Okay. I'm gonna like put a scoop in it to kind of give it like a curl. I'm gonna curl it. I'm going to curl it a little bit like at the bottom. Oh, that didn't come out right. Hold up. I want to curl it. Okay, that's as good as it gets. All right, next. Your brain 
Okay, so it was starting out good, then out of nowhere, like I said, boom, it stopped working. And uh, I got really frustrated because it wasn't my hair. You know, once I was done, what I noticed about my natural hair is it's so uneven and I had tons of split ends because I haven't really trimmed my hair in a while. And for me, it's easier for me to see my split ends when my hair is flat ironed as opposed to when it's just at its kinky coily state. And it's really hard because it's like it shrivels up. I can't tell. So the good news is I did end up uh, trimming my hair. So now my hair is even and all the split ends are gone. Of course, my hair may be a little shorter, but I really don't care at this point. And uh, it is what it is. So I have my hair under protective style. So I ended up washing my hair today. I did a deep conditioning treatment with the coconut milk. And I ended up putting my hair back in protective style. As you can see, I'm wearing a unit. And this is what I have to do until like this weekend coming up. I will probably be installing some braids so I could give my hair a really big break with the wig. I see with the wig, with the wigs. And I will have my braids in for at least two to three months. And from there, we shall see what happens, okay? So I'm very disappointed that my. A flat iron hair did not succeed <laughs> oh and I'm also upset because of the fact that I risk getting heat damage to do my hair because every time you put heat in your hair you are risking it because you can definitely get heat damage however the way that I do my flat iron I use heat protectant if you use those things it, it should be it protects the hair you know I I've been lucky thank God that I have not ever encountered any type of heat damage but it's just the principle of the fact that I could have. If I'm going to have heat damage, let me at least enjoy my flat iron hair for at least two weeks, you know what I'm saying? But when I washed my hair, it all reverted back and my hair is still pretty kinky and coily in the way that it normally is, so I was happy about that. Okay, so it is what it is. There's nothing that I can do about it. And hopefully, I definitely am going to get me a better flat iron because the one that I have now is awful. Okay, do not get the chi that looks like this. And this happens to be a chi. And I don't know what the problem is. I don't know if it's because it's blue, whatever, but the black one works so damn good. 
you know what I'm saying? But this one, mm -mm. I don't know, maybe it's just my hair. Uh, I just don't like it anyway. And have a wonderful upcoming week, guys. Uh, please stay tuned for my uh, extension installation video coming this weekend. And that's basically it. So have a wonderful weekend. God, I mean, weekend. Have a wonderful night, guys. It's Sunday. And I'll see you guys next time, okay? Take care. Bye.